You can say that Elon has a habit of shocking the world, but one of his revelations raised a lot more eyebrows than usual. He has open source patents on Tesla. The big question is, why doesn't Elon believe in patents? Back in June 2014, Elon captured the world's attention when he issued the statement, all our patents belong to you. Elon said that in the spirit of the open source movement, Tesla would not start patent lawsuits against anyone who, in good faith, wants to use their technology. According to Elon, this move was made to accelerate the development of sustainable transportation. It's no secret that the patent system encourages innovation, but it does so at a cost. In exchange for a monopoly on a technology or method for up to 20 years, the patentee must disclose the know-how to enable others to make their own version of the invention. This not only spreads knowledge throughout a technical field, but it allows others to improve on it. Elon believed that Tesla's true competition was not the small number of non-Tesla EVs being produced, but rather the hordes of gasoline cars coming out of factories around the world every day. Of course, these metrics have significantly changed as of today, with nearly every automotive company you've heard of rushing to join the EV space. But at the time of Elon's ground breaking statement, electric vehicle sales from major manufacturers accounted for less than 1% of total vehicles sold. As you would expect, Elon's open source philosophy wasn't necessarily a green light for companies to start producing knockoff Teslas. It came with some conditions. The main clause in Tesla's patent pledge was that Tesla would not initiate patent lawsuits against a party acting in good faith. According to Tesla, a party is acting in good faith so long as said party and its affiliates have not claimed any intellectual property right against Tesla, challenged a third party for the use of its EV technologies, or sold or helped sell any fake Tesla products. So basically, Tesla's patents are only free to use if you don't enforce any rights against Tesla, you don't enforce any patent right against another company, and you don't oppose Tesla's patents or copy Tesla's designs. Using Tesla's technology would basically make any other company's own IP rights redundant, which some companies would consider a small trade-off for such a huge reward. But these open source patents aren't the only way companies can use Tesla's technology. Parties can still attempt to use Use Tesla's technology without necessarily having to open up their own IP portfolios by negotiating a licensing agreement with Tesla. Tesla would come out on top from that transaction through licensing fees, cross-licensing, or royalties. So if you're betting on yourself to succeed using Tesla's IP, maybe don't. You may have a good day at its expense, but at the end of the day, the house always wins. Now you may be thinking, with this whole open source philosophy going on, how the heck does Tesla protect its intellectual property from parties with bad intentions? Speaking at an Air Force event, Elon said that the real way to achieve intellectual property protection is by innovating fast enough. According to Elon, if your rate of innovation is high, you don't need to worry about protecting the IP because other companies will be copying something that you did years ago, as opposed to what you're currently working on. Tesla is known for using trade secrets to protect its revolutionary inventions, and if need be, the EV leader isn't afraid to use the long arm of the law to keep parties from revealing details that are supposed to be secret. It should also be known that Tesla still applies for patents on some of its inventions. A recent example is WO2020-028625, which discloses an interactive user interface for a steering wheel that recognizes gesture movements made by a user. So based on the patent applications made by Tesla, it is pretty clear that Tesla sees the patent system as a way of protecting technology produced by its engineers hard work and innovation. Even so, Elon is still a firm believer in secrecy over patents. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO once said, we have essentially no patents. Our primary long-term competition is China. If we published patents, it would be farcical because the Chinese would just use them as a recipe book. Who knows? Maybe if Tesla still had patents on their technology, we would have seen a pretty popular knockoff by now. A uh, Tesla with a Z, perhaps? We already know that Elon's move to open up all of Tesla's patents was primarily done to promote electric vehicle technology. What you may not know is that EV technology was facing a very serious threat at the time, hydrogen fuel cell technology. After years of collaboration with Tesla, Toyota shifted its focus from making electric cars to making hydrogen fuel cell cars in 2014. Rumor has it that in Elon's eyes, 
This move by Toyota was in fact a declaration of war between the two green technologies. Toyota announced that it ended its collaboration with Tesla just a few weeks before Elon's announcement to open up the patents. Around then, the rumor mill was working overtime, and it was already a foregone conclusion in the automotive world that Toyota was working on a hydrogen-powered vehicle. And as if right on cue, just a week after Elon's announcement, Toyota unveiled its first hydrogen fuel cell car. The race was on. A few months later, Toyota tried to counter Elon's big move by opening up 5,600 of its fuel cell patents as well. The Japanese automotive giant stated that such a move would open the door to a hydrogen future while spurring the development and introduction of innovative fuel cell technologies around the world. Battery-based electric cars and hydrogen fuel cell cars are the two most promising alternative energy vehicle technologies. A few years have passed since then, but the technology is still very much in its developmental stages, which means as of now, each have pros and cons. Battery-based cars are generally simpler in construction, thus potentially cheaper and more reliable, but the slow charging speed is still a significant issue. By contrast, hydrogen fuel cell cars can be refueled as quickly as gasoline cars, but the ultra-high-pressure liquid hydrogen storage requires sophisticated engineering and construction, which leads to ultra-high costs and potential safety concerns. Yikes. If you look at things today, it's pretty clear that Tesla opening up its patents all those years ago definitely tipped the scales in its favor. The logic behind it was simple. Since they were free, Tesla's patents were more likely to be adopted by other automakers. And because of that, component suppliers, including energy companies, are more likely to make investments into EV technology. Tesla hadn't identified the inevitable flaw in this otherwise perfect plan, its competitor using the same strategy. But in the end, it didn't really matter, because today, electric vehicles are now above and beyond hydrogen fuel cells in terms of innovation and widespread use. If at this point you're wondering whether this open patent strategy can backfire, the answer is yes. Yes, it can. Take the unfortunate case of IBM PC. For all you young kids asking what the hell an IBM is, you'll have to talk to your grandparents about it. When IBM entered the market with the PC, it utilized an open architecture, such that anyone could essentially make IBM-compatible computers. It sounds basic enough, but at the time, the major computer manufacturers Apple and Atari used proprietary or closed architectures, which meant that components produced for different systems were not compatible. This groundbreaking strategy motivated component suppliers to develop products for PC and PC-compatible computers, and IBM quickly became the market leader. However, once the PC proved successful, competitors started to flood the market with PC-compatible computers, and IBM's market share dwindled to 5% before it sold the whole PC PC business to Lenovo in 2005. In fact, IBM made unsuccessful attempts to regain control of the architecture, but it was all too little too late. All of this happened mainly because opening up a technology lowers the barrier of entry for competitors, and the good folks at IBM did not take that into account. The Tesla situation is vastly different because the elevated competition is exactly what drove the EV giant to open up its patents. Other vehicle manufacturers are slowly closing the enormous gap between themselves and Tesla, but that does not worry Elon or his world-class staff in the slightest. That is precisely what real confidence in your talent, technology, and products will give you supreme dominance. Elon hasn't always been against the idea of patents. He himself has said that early in his career, when he first started developing technology, he got lots of patents and thought it was a good thing. Later on, he discovered that a patent was really like buying a lottery ticket to a lawsuit, referencing the battle between Apple and Samsung and how the only winners there were the lawyers on either side. Nearly all of young Elon's patents had something to do with the technological marvel of his generation, the World Wide Web. His first four patents patents centered on ideas that are now integral to the way we search and communicate online today. In 1997, Elon applied for a patent that allowed computers to call landlines, which was granted to him in 2001. His patent allowed computers to place calls to phone numbers a user came across on the web. This can be compared to what happens today, when you search for a business's contact details online on your phone and tap to call it. Elon made a big brain move when he announced Tesla's patents were open. So could we see anything similar from other companies in the field? Honestly, probably not. It doesn't seem like automotive companies in particular will be abandoning the patent system due to the advantages it comes with, like limited monopoly, increased internal innovation, and potential monetary gains from licensing. This was just another example of Elon Musk doing Elon Musk things, and good luck to anyone who dares to do the same. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the future.